Uh, first, uh, before the crisis, uh, we already changed our labor laws and we reformed the labor market. And the labor market uh, was, when we went into the crisis, already uh, uh, much more flexible uh, than, than before. Uh, and then in the crisis, we introduced uh, specific um, uh, measures, which also are broadly discussed, like Kurzarbeit, which uh, allowed us to keep labor uh, in uh, in, in the process and uh, once the economy strengthened again we uh, didn't lose this labor uh, and uh, uh, the companies could uh, uh, really continue to, uh, to work. Uh, so these are uh, important elements uh, of the German success we try to, to use that uh, and of course it costs money and uh, it's uh, right that uh, developing countries might not or be in a, pos in a fiscal position uh, to, uh, to bring up uh, this money and uh, are certainly not in a position to copy this, uh, this model. Uh, but one has to say with regard to, uh, to fiscal uh, restraint and, and fiscal space, uh, the developing countries came also quite were quite resilient uh, to the crisis. Their fiscal position exacerbated in the crisis, but not substantially. And they have s some of them have some fiscal room. First, second, uh, there are some policies you do not really have to to, to uh, you do not need uh, fiscal uh, means. Uh, like, for example, macroeconomic policies, reform of the labor market, more flexibility, doesn't cost anything. It's only when you introduce specific programs to support uh, uh, the labor market and workers in the times of crisis, then it costs something.